are these monsters that reach out at us from the silver screen? What kind of person does it take to make a monster come to life? The girl's insane that I don't... What was that? Uh, <laughs> it's a day that you're sanctioned to scare people. And that's, that's something that, that, you know, now as a professional, you, you try to do 365 days a year. So every day is Halloween for a, a horror film director. On Halloween, back when we used to film Bewitched, every year I would go trick-or-treating with Elizabeth Montgomery and her kids, Billy and Robert and Rebecca, and we'd all go trick-or-treating together through my neighborhood, and it was a lot of fun. And Halloween is still one of my favorite holidays. It was a, a, an exercise in greed. You know, nobody cared really what you wore or anything like that. It was how many bags of candy could you actually get and I remember literally three or four shopping bags full of candy, you know, up, and we'd have to go home, dump it, and come back and go, and it was really just uh, pure greed. I remember going into the so-called rich neighborhoods because they had the caramel-covered uh, candy, candy apples and, uh, and better desserts that they would give you. They would give you, I think, the first time I'd ever seen those packaged little chocolate puddings, which I'm still addicted to. My father always referred to Halloween as this busy season. He did a lot of guest appearances on television, spooking his own boogeyman image. And uh, we're finding it to be the same. We do a lot of interviews and a lot of personal appearances at home. It's a lot of fun. Well, a, few, a few years I've celebrated Halloween by uh, forgetting to buy candy and <laughs> turning out my life. It would be very strange for me if I opened my door one Halloween night and found Pinhead on the doorstep demanding a trick or treat. I'd give him the trick. People never come to my door. It's really weird. I don't think I've ever had anybody come to the door. Well, I have two big rattlesnakes on the door, you know, and uh, there's a big gate out front, and I'm afraid, you know, they're probably afraid that, you know, our house is sort of like the Adams family. There's always like a cloud over our house, you know, and there's a thunder. <laughs>